Welcome to Creature Fridays, where I give you a quick introduction to one of the animal species found in the UK. For the eighth video, we're going to take a look at Apodemus sylvaticus, or the wood mouse. Subscribe to Ferroforest to keep learning about UK nature. This species, also often referred to as the long-tailed field mouse, is most commonly found in woodlands, grassland and gardens. With almost 40 million individuals, it's one of our most common rodents, and it's found throughout the UK, including on many of our smaller islands. They prefer to stick to dense cover, so are rarely found on higher open ground that doesn't have this cover. Because they stick to dense cover and are also mostly nocturnal, it's often difficult to spot the wood mouse. Sometimes individuals will venture out into the daylight, and your best chance of seeing one is around their food sources. They will feed on a variety of nuts, seeds, and different invertebrates. In autumn, they will build up food stores within their underground burrows, consisting of berries and seeds. There are several defining characteristics that can help you identify the wood mouse and tell it apart from similar species. These mice are roughly 9cm long with an 8cm tail. They have golden brown fur that gets darker closer to their spine, and a paler whitish grey underside. Their eyes and ears are both considered large relative to their size. By contrast, the house mouse has much less brown in its greyish fur. This fur wraps all around its body without distinction between the top and the underside. The house mouse is smaller than the wood mouse and compared to its body, it has much smaller ears. You can also identify a house mouse by its strong smell and the greasy marks it leaves behind. Another similar species is the yellow necked mouse. Although slightly larger than the wood mouse, this is a very difficult species to tell apart unless you can get up close to them. Yellow-necked mice have an unbroken band of yellow fur that wraps around their neck and joins together with their forelegs. By comparison, the wood mouse occasionally has a smallish yellow patch of fur between its front legs, but it's not joined to the rest of the darker fur. A third similar species is the harvest mouse, which is much smaller than the wood mouse. Harvest mice have golden coats and less prominent ears and eyes than other mice. They also have an amazing prehensile tail that they can use to grasp onto plant stems. A final similar species is the rare hazel dormouse. This is fairly easy to distinguish because hazel dormice have very distinctive furry tails. They also have much more orangey yellow fur than wood mice and are overall a more pale colour. Down amongst the tree roots, you'll find wood mice living in various chambers of underground burrows, moving between nesting areas and food stores that many generations before them will have made use of. Their nests will be made up of a mix of leaves, moss and grass, and although they are often directly under tree roots in the burrows, they can also be found in holes in trees and buildings, or within nest boxes placed out for other species. During the colder months, the entrance to the burrows will be blocked up with leaves, twigs and stones to help maintain heat, and wood mice will come together to share body heat as they nest. Wood mice don't hibernate, but they can go into torpor to preserve enough energy at this time. The wood mice will spend a lot of time grooming themselves and each other, wiping their faces and ears with their front paws and passing their tail through their mouths. As the temperature increases in spring, females will go out and establish their own home ranges and nests, usually by themselves, but these ranges can sometimes overlap. The males will then range out over large areas to mate with multiple females. If food is abundant, females are able to have litters at any time of year, but the usual breeding season is between February and October. The litter will consist of between four and eight offspring, and females can have up to six litters a year. The young wood mice are born with their eyes fused shut and no hair on their bodies. They stay with their mother for 20 days before they're ready to leave. Although they are only 7 grams when they're born, by the time they reach sexual maturity at 2 months old, they have almost doubled this weight and have reached 12 grams. The mature mice will go on to produce their own litters, with most mice surviving for only a year. Wood mice have many predators that will end their lives early. One of these predators are domestic cats, a non-native species that we allow to roam our wilderness. Native predators of wood mice include large mammals like foxes and birds of prey like tawny owls. In fact, tawny owls are so closely tied to wood mice as a food source that if wood mice numbers are too low, then tawny owls won't breed. If you enjoyed learning about this animal, then make sure to check out some of my other videos.